The Morgan Report with David Morgan. David Morgan of TheMorganReport.com for the week ending 29 April 2022. Well, let's start with the stocks as I usually do. And weakness across the board. If you look at uh, any of the 11 main uh, parts of the stock market, they're all down. And the big indices such as the Dow Jones... Uh, the SPOOs or the SPX and also the Qs or the NASDAQ are all hitting resistance at the 200-day moving average, especially the NASDAQ, which is a pretty good leading indicator on stock market health. Of course, it's all based on the Federal Reserve moving interest rates up. The last words out of Jerome Powell were 50 basis points. Some have even talked about 75. We will find out shortly. But higher interest rates do not bode well for the stock market. It's very much indicated that's true for gold, and gold does react because there's so much financial news manipulation, basically. However, it does have an effect if and only if the interest rates are at a level that are above the true inflation rate. And the government admits the true inflation rate is about 8.5% in the United States, which means you really have to have a 9% interest rate in order for it to be above the stated inflation rate. I don't think we'll ever go that high. So gold will react, but it's temporary. Uh, Gold will snap back. And I will say, I just finished the Morgan Report for this month. It will be issued over the weekend. And uh, the old adage, sell in May and come back after Labor Day, pretty much is true for all markets. Also for the metals, there is a big seasonality to the precious metals. And that is that usually gold bottoms in August. Now, will that hold true this year or not? It remains to be determined, but nonetheless, it could show some weakness or sideways movement for the metals for a while. Even though the gold price is down, as I've said, uh, there is what I think is the beginning of the run to gold. And Adam Hamilton, who's been a great guy and a, had a strong relationship with them over the internet. I've never met him personally. For years and years and years, and we usually post this stuff uh, on our platforms. So I'm not going to read the whole article, but this to give some of the gold silver people some uh, idea of what's really going on behind the scenes. It's titled Gold Investment Surging. Gold investment demand is surging as traders increasingly comprehend the leading alternative to assets' amazing fundamental backdrop. The biggest inflation super spike since the 1970s is relentlessly eroding purchasing power. And while the bubble-valued U.S. stocks are rolling over in the long-term overdue bear market, so investors are flocking back to gold, driving the price higher, enticing in more traders to chase those gains. So, again, I won't read the whole article. He does excellent work. I highly recommend that you read the whole article. You can find it at zeolllc.com. Shout out to you, Adam. Thank you for your continued uh, pretty objective view. I mean, none of us can be totally objective when we're in the space. A couple more things before I close this out and go to the uh, next screen. The biggest beneficiaries of higher gold prices are gold miners' stocks. And their earnings amplify gold prices and they're enjoying their own mounting up leg. And they are. They're making money. And the stock prices haven't reflected that yet. The leading GDX gold stocks ETF has surged 41.4% since late September, paralleling gold's 14.6% up, upward gain. So, again, there are times to be in – there's times that gold only does as well as the stocks. There's times the stocks is better than gold. We are in that regime now, and this is where people that haven't saved enough, their pensions are in doubt, they're not sure that they're going to make it with the coming inflation or the inflation we already see that's going to continue, and you will get more leverage in the stocks. As you just pointed out and I highlighted, the ETF is up 41%, where gold itself is up about 15%. So it's usually a three to one factor. It's not perfect, but 15 times three is 45, so it's pretty close to that. This will continue and accelerate especially as we work through and get into this final leg up, or I believe the final leg up in this precious metals bull market. But don't get over anxious. Uh, We have some work to do, unfortunately, going forward, because there is a lot of, uh, let's say, um, overhead resistance due to the way the paper paradigm is poised. 
So I've talked about uh, the stock market, a little bit about gold. I'll come back to it, but I didn't want to forget this one. This is from the Wealthy On, and this is definitely worth listening to. It's almost an hour long, but it is Bill Fleckenstein that's uh, well known in the uh, investment community. In fact, he, uh, as far as I understand, it was instrumental in getting uh, Mr. Gates to buy Pan American silver at the right time talking the right time back when billionaires were buying silver and millionaires weren't back when it was at an all-time inflation adjusted low price but let me move on uh, the bond holds the keys as i've said so many times and this interview is very um very to the point although it is fairly long in duration it's worth every minute as far as i'm concerned so you can find it on youtube type in uh the title here Bill Fleckenstein, Bond, Vigilantes will probably be enough to get it. Or just go to the Wealthy On um, YouTube channel. And again, I suggest you watch it over the weekend. And I said I would come back to gold. And here we are. This is at the Bullion Star website. Ronan Manley, certainly another shout out. that He does some excellent uh, work. And this is one that um, I read twice. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but the title tells us all. The Kremlin confirms intention to back the ruble with gold and commodities. So as you get into the article, you find out it's not gold only. It's real stuff backing ruble. And, of course, then they take some criticism that you guys don't know what you're talking about because, you know, we in the Anglo-American empire knows how the money works. And the retort was, that's what's in your textbooks. <laughs> that's not how the real world works. So there's a lot to this article. It's not very long. Again, I read it twice just to be sure I caught everything. And it is something I think everyone in the gold community needs to be aware of. So I moved over to our Twitter account and uh, a couple of things. One is this uh, new uh, video. I think it's about five minutes long from Environmental. And I got uh, called out by an interview that was on Arcadia Economics. I, caught part of it. One of uh, our members sent it to me and this gentleman was talking about the cost of uh, recycling silver. And um, we're not sure where he got his number, so I can't criticize that. He doesn't give us the, the how he did it. But regardless, the uh, company doesn't give out data on what it costs to extract metals. The primary purpose of environmental is to be green. In other words, to be a cyanide replacement and uh, environmentally friendly and precipitate out all metals, particularly gold, um, from different types of situations. I'm in Group 11, which is a private company. We're doing it in, in situ basis, testing in different types of uh, geological conditions. On top of that, if you grind up circuit boards, you can get a pretty good return uh, using this methodology. So there's more to the story than um, just uh, what this uh, video will show you, but I think something to take a look at. I just put up this bullion star that I just showed you a bit. We're looking at net exports, less imports, goods and services falling off a cliff. And there's some more things in here. Um, there's something that came from TF Metals. My friend uh, John Adams from the Australia from Down Under did an interview on, on the TF Metals report. I think it's worth listening to. And I will leave it at that. I just want to say that the uh, new Morgan report is out again this weekend. I said that earlier. This is one that I really think if you are a serious precious metals investor, you need to buy this report. Why? Because there is a lot of concern about inflation getting stronger, higher, more pervasive. And what will that do to the cost of gold mining? And the answer is it will increase it. It will. If oil goes up, if labor goes up, if communications goes up, it costs more to produce. So that's kind of a dampening effect, even as the gold price may be rising higher. However, there is a solution to that problem, and we outline it in spades in the Morgan Report this month. So if you're a serious investor and you want to make the maximum amount of returns and de-risk the sector as much as possible, it's probably worth your while to read the editorial in our premium service or paid service. We also added another company that we looked at earlier last year, and we we're going to put it in the replacement of one we took off a few months back due to um, not performing 
and some changes that the company made that we were not that fond of. So I'll conclude there. This is David Morgan of themorganreport.com for the 29th of April, 2022.